the picturesque tea highlands of Kericho County in Kenya's Rift Valley. But beneath the scenic rolling hills and sprawling tea estates are dark secrets deeply buried in the very soul of this community. When the British arrived in this part of the world, the Kipsigis community and the people of its Talai clan were evicted from their lands under the Crown Lands Ordinance of 1902, which essentially transferred ownership of their lands to the British. Before the white man came, we were staying well with no problems with other people. Where my mother came from, we were all friends. Kibore Cheruyot Ngasura is among the few surviving Talai elders who took part in the colonial resistance of the 1940s, which led to his detention by British colonizers. Today he is 106 years old and lives on the fringes of what was once his ancestral heaven on a piece of land he bought after he was freed. He will live to see Britain's new King Charles III make a state visit to Kenya from October the 31st to November the 3rd, Charles first to a Commonwealth nation since succeeding his mother Queen Elizabeth II last year. We welcome the king. He is welcome here, but he must remember the Talai people. We have gone through a hard time, and he should do something about it. Clone. Tito Arab Mite is a former colonial era prison warden. We want back our property. We want back our property. Kenya declared its independence from Britain in December of 1963. As Kenya gets ready to commemorate 60 years of independence, these peasant farmers have little cause for celebration, says Joel Kimeto, a leader and a scholar of the Kipsigis. They should compensate us, and at the same time, they should now acknowledge and tell the Kenya government to revert back our uh, Kipsigis ancestral lands, free of charge. We are not buying. When they came here, they did not buy. In May 2021, United Nations Special Rapporteurs wrote to the UK government expressing concern about its failure to issue a public apology and provide reparations for the estimated 500,000 Kipsigis and Talai people who suffered under the British rule. The UK government said it issued an apology in 2013 and compensated Kenyans who lived through the emergency period and the Mau Mau insurgency and made claims. The Kipsigis and Talai note their complaint and case is separate. David Ngasura Tue is an advocate for the Kipsigis and the author of a book about them. The objective of writing the books is to highlight the whole world. I want the whole world to know the plight of the Talai plus the Kipsigis, what the colonialists did to the Talai and Kipsigis people. With Buckingham Palace saying in a statement that the king will acknowledge the more painful aspects of Britain and Kenya's shared history during his trip, there is hope that the visit could offer some semblance of historical closure. Francis Ontomoa, VOA News, Kericho, Kenya.